Welcome to the Gospel Road. We're going to look at John chapter 14. Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go and prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you my, to myself. That where I am, you may be also. And you know that where the way to where I'm going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you had known me, you would have known my Father also. For now, on you, do you know him? And have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father, and it is enough for us. And Jesus said to him, I have been with you so long, and you still do not know me, Philip. Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words I say to you, I do not speak in my own authority, but... The Father who dwells in me does his work. Believe me that I am the Father and the Father is in me, or else believe on account of the works themselves. Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever believes in me will also do the works that I do, and greater works than these will he do, because I am going to the Father. Whoever you ask, whatever you ask in my name, this I will do, but the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask me anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, you will keep my commandments. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another helper to be with you forever, even the Spirit of truth, whom the Word cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him, for he dwells with you and will be in you. I will not leave you as orphans, I will come to you. Yet a little while, and the world will see me no more. But you will see me, because I live, you also will live. In that day, you will keep it that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. Whoever has my commandments and keeps them, he is who loves me. And he who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and manifest myself to him. Judas, not Iscariot, said to him, Lord, how is it that you will be manifest yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered him, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him. And we will come to him and make our home with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words. And the word that you hear is not mine, but the Father's who sent me. These things I have spoken to you, while I am still with you. But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. Peace I leave you. May peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. You heard me say to you, I am going away, and I will come to you. If you loved me, you will be rejoiced, because I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you before it takes place, so that when it ta does take place, you may believe. I will no longer talk much with you, for the ruler of this world is coming. He has no claim on me, but I do as the Father has commanded me, so that the world may know that I love the Father, Rise, let us go from here. John chapter 14. Speaking of salvation, you know, Jesus is the way, the truth, and life, and no one gets to the Father but through Him. You know, asking Him into your heart, loving Him, asking Him for the forgiveness, the unconditional love that He has for us, the choice that we make. And it is. It's a choice that we have to make. We have that free will. 
we have the decision. Are we going to love Christ or not? Are we going to follow Christ or not? Are we going to learn more? Are we going to listen to the Holy Spirit who is going to teach us, help us understand, to learn, to find out more? Or are we not? These are the decisions we have to decide. These are the decisions we have to make. Many are called, few are chosen. The road is narrow. I mean, we've heard all of the different statements. So the question is, where are you going to go? What are you going to do? What do you believe? Do you be have a belief? Or do you just live life? the way it is. Whatever happens, happens. There's nothing to believe. There's nothing to believe in. I can't see that because they say you've got to stand for something or you'll fall for anything. Which is true because you have to have a belief. If you have a belief, then that means there's something you put your trust into. There's something that you believe in. If you don't, then anybody that comes to you and tells you something, you're gullible. And you believe whatever is being said to you. Are you educating yourself? Are you trying to find out as much as you can? Which is important. You know, we have to work on ourselves, body, mind, and spirit. Take care of our body. It's the temple. Take care of our mind, learn, knowledge, gain, sharpen ourselves, do more. Spirit, take care of our soul, our inside, our beliefs, our spirituality. These are all things that many ignore. I've ignored it. It's what we do. It's the way we think. But you gotta change that way of thinking. Are you letting yourself go or are you shaping yourself up? Sharpening your skills, becoming better, wanting to be a better person, wanting to be a stronger person. What what do you want? What don't you want? You know, I grew up in church and I've heard many things and I've thought many things. And I acted many ways. Only to come to the realization that most were wrong. Thought wrong. Talked wrong. Acted wrong. Because I was the one that was up in everybody's face. And you know what? It's not what I believe, it's what you believe. I can share with you what I believe. I can share with you of what comforts me, what helps me. But I can't force you to think the way I do. And we shouldn't because we're all different. That's what makes us. That's that personality that God has given us to be our own individual people. But then he also gave us the responsibility to think for ourselves, to make those decisions. God may be control of a lot of things. God may be there. But God doesn't have control of your mind. Because he is leaving that to you to choose. He wants you to choose him. But he's not going to force you to. Just like we, as Christians... As believers, should not be forcing you, should not be shoving it down your throat because that's not what it's about. 
it's loving one another and through that love people asking what is it that you have why are you the way you are how do you why do you act the way you do why and then you can share John chapter 14 read it read every day I mean always take those daily devotions that's what I'm doing I'm reading them I'm sharing them with you I'm sharing from my heart but what's in your heart what do you have what do you have to share Thank you for listening to The Gospel Road. Have a great day. God bless.